Picking up where we left off, in this video we are going to continue our look at the edit tools in Grossbeat's option menu. We have already looked at the center, tension, normalize and decimate tools. The next tool we will look at is the filter tool. The filter tool is used to tweak yet again the shape of the time and or volume envelope. The filter can be a tutorial on its own, but luckily it is based on a fairly standard envelope filter that can be found in several of the image line products. But for those that may have never seen this type of filter, we will cover the basics here. Along the top there are three options. The first is width. Positive values of this parameter will create smoother curves in the time and volume envelopes by adding more edit points as well as adjusting the tension of these points to give smoother curve results. The offset works much like the offset in the scale tool. However, instead of adjusting the offset along the horizontal axis, the offset parameter in the filter adjusts the offset of the vertical axis. Decimate, again, works like it did in the scale tool. It adds or removes edit points to the curve. Positive values will decimate or remove edit points. Negative values will add more edit points. The next tool is the smooth up tool. This tool is used to once again alter the shape of the curve. More specifically, it smooths out the curve. The first two parameters are attack and release, and they can be linked together to optimize how the curves are smoothed out. Of course, these two parameters can be adjusted individually. The slope parameter will put emphasis on the shape of the curves. Negative values will give the slopes a sharper downward curve. While positive values will create a sharper upward curve. The offset, yet again, will move the curve horizontally left or right. The decimation, again, will control the number of edit points in the curve. So, in this video, we took a look at the filter and smooth up tools. In the next video, we'll take a look at the create sequence tool.